All right, so this is gonna be a, a five minute video, hopefully uh, just showing a few features of the uh, Coyote case with the new snarl lid. The Coyote case has been around for a couple of years, uh, but we finally got to the snarl lid, which was a nightmare, but we got it. Uh, sorry for the delay, uh, but it's designed to hold any flugelhorn and your trumpet and a computer. Um, of course, your computer spot can be replaced with uh, books and whatnot. So uh, quickly, I'll show you the computer pocket. It's just a neoprene pocket. We're going to offer these in, in different sizes, and you'll be able to spec uh, which size you need. And just zips out. There's your computer. Um, you slip it in there, zip it shut. And I can push pretty hard on that Velcro. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and it's a nice, uh, stretchy, protective um, neoprene. And between the computer and your flugelhorn, uh, we made a wall that's uh, 3 by 12 inches. That's really easy. You can kind of move it around where you, where you need it. And it goes on the other dividing wall. The dividing wall that's here is uh, closed cell, open cell, plastic, open cell, closed cell. There's actually five layers. So you get uh, a nice stiff pad, but it's actually got a lot of compression when you need the protection, like if it, the case gets dropped or thrown or whatever, falls down the steps. Um, it's got, you know, five different pieces there, so it, it, it's pretty cool. I don't think anyone else comes close to doing that. This one, the only difference here is we left out the plastic, so it's, it's the four layers of foam, uh, two different densities. Pop that in there. Um, the cool thing about this case is that it'll, it'll still work with the small flugelhorns, but it'll also hold the horns like the Con Vintage 1. Um, and we actually had one in our shop uh, about a week and a half ago, and of course the, the third valve slide extends beyond the bell wrap. It comes up here about an inch. Um, and that was a problem for us, and we actually had to change our mold at the last minute just a little bit. Um, and so what we've what we've done here, if you do have a flugelhorn like that, this, if it's going to hit the lid, you know, by getting smacked, uh, you run the risk of some serious damage. So we, we're going to put a pad here and a pad here, and they're, they look like this, and they're going to Velcro to the top of the lid so that um, your flugelhorn is going to be contacting that pad. I don't know if that makes sense. You might not be able to see it with this video. Um, so as I shut it, it might not show up in the video, but they're in place. And I just engage the back clips here and lower the lid and zap them. Now that flugelhorn uh, can't bounce around vertically. Uh, you can stack the pads as needed. So if I needed a little bit more, I could put two in place um, on either side. Okay, I'm not sure I even need that with this flugelhorn. Remains to be seen. Um, still fits. That might be a good fit for me. Of course, you, you know, each, each uh, user uh, can manipulate the pads as they need to. Um, and in the bell of the flugelhorn is this round, I guess, what is that, cone shape? Uh, it's two inches thick and it's uh, angled at 30 degrees. So it should fit most flugel bells great. And even that alone is a really excellent pad to keep your flugel horn in place both this way, but also with an impact. In addition to that pad, we've got the wall here that's, that's two densities, closed cell, open cell. So you get the impact, but then if you really need it, you've got the compression of that open cell. And again, I don't think anyone's doing that, um, any of my competitors. So you lower that guy in there, put the pad where you need it, right? about there. Underneath the flugelhorn, this pad here that's angled, it's uh, three and a half inches here, two and a half inches down there. So you're going to elevate your valve cluster so that your valves aren't depressed with this pad and you slide it under there uh, depending on how high you need to get it. So um, looks like mine wants to be about there. All right. Um, and there are a set of pads. I don't have them to demonstrate today, but I just wanted to get this video made. But there's pads that go above your bell here, above your block here, to keep your B-flat trumpet from going up. Or, um, up. And in place of the computer, many people are going to find room for a piccolo trumpet. Um, I would think a big cup mute would go down in the corner there, and you'll, you'll have to uh, make a... Or not, you don't have to make one, but use one of the small pads that's included to go down here to, to divide that out. Um, but that should be possible. And what else can I tell you? I guess that's it. I, I'm going to conclude the video. You might not be able to hear me because I'm going to get away from the microphone. But I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you the, the profile of the lid. Okay. So let me zip it up for you. Let's take these two out. That's 
big number 10 zipper that goes around. And then the handle buttons up there. All right. And okay, so here comes the camera. You might not be able to be able to hear me at this point. stainless steel rivets all over the place. The rubber feet on this end, um, these guys actually have a steel core to them, so you've got a stainless steel rivet uh, going through the a stainless steel or a steel core on each of those rubber feet. And they're pretty cool, like if you push on the case, it doesn't slide very easily at all. And it's a fiberglass shell, uh, so it doesn't break. You really have to work hard to break it. Um, and it's uh, quite lightweight, like a lot lighter than wood. And the back of the case, 